we got to South Africa, one of my favorite animals on the planet to be able to spot and stock is a blue wildebeest. We call it the poor man's buffalo. It's extremely big. It's very cost effective, has big horns on them. Uh, both the males and the female have horns and they're usually a herd animal. So it's a real challenge to be able to get on the ground and spot and stock them. So that's exactly what we're doing this week. Yeah, yeah, it's a really nice bull. That's a nice bull. Yeah, I think we should go right to this this uh, big deadfall right here on the yeah. left-hand side and kind of work around, but the wind's perfect right now. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's Ready? go for it. Congratulations guys, we just spot and stocked a blue wildebeest, I'm not kidding you. Every time I come to Africa, I try to get this done, you guys. This is a really difficult animal to spot and stock on the ground. What's kind of cool about it is it's big chested. This is what they call the poor man's buffalo. This is one of the most cost effective animals in all of Africa. And every time I come over, I try to get one done spot and stock. You guys are awesome tractors, no doubt about it. The skill and the talent is mighty. We just killed a blue wildebeest. Are you two smiling? <laughs> look, at, look at everybody in Outdoor Channel in America and smile right now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm hanging out with two of the most experienced guys in all of Africa. I wish I could take you guys with me everywhere. <laughs> Don, I want to thank you very much, buddy. Please great, 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 great time. Guys, we're hunting on my exclusive bow hunting camp over in Africa with hunting legends here in South Africa, with multiple camps, with over 30 species, including the big five in Mozambique and Tanzania. A lot of resources, and um, if you are a bow hunter or if you're a gun hunter, you've always had it on the bucket list to come to Africa, take the next step and come over and enjoy the resource and the people and the food. You won't be disappointed. Absolutely extraordinary place on earth. Me and the Botech are going to be showing up every year until the day I die. In fact, I'm probably going to be wheeling around this brush country with my wheelchair. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on Western Extreme. We're going to be chasing something wild, usually out west, or using our Western tactics in Africa. <laughs>